how to remove WinRAR virus or other common virus infections. Uh, once again, this is very complicated and it depends highly on how you were infected, how, what you've done since you've gotten the infection, and what files are infected. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to run a program called the VAS to do a normal scan. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that program after we've gone and downloaded it and run the updates. It's going to go through and test all the memory and startup items. After it's done doing that, what you want to do is you're going to get this little window here. You're going to tell it to make sure it's up to date. You can view the uh, current definition file by looking right here at the date. If it's not up to date, when you go to start and you go to the updating menu and you go to program update, it's going to connect to the servers and download the most recent updates. After it's done doing that, you'll get a little summary window letting you know if it, if it had, how much it had to update. If you had to do a big update, you will be prompted to restart the computer. After restarting the computer and reopening the program and making sure everything's up to date, we're going to show you how to do a normal scan. So you can check the little hard drive icon to the right here, and you can set your scan thoroughness. You can either do a quick scan, a standard scan, or a thorough scan. We're also going to have you check scan archive files. Once those options are selected, you're going to hit the little play button. It's then going to go through and scan your computer for any known viruses, scanning all files and folders. You can see what files it's currently scanning, as well as how many files it has completed scanning already, and the current percentage listed on the menu to the right. 